and furious actor Paul Walker died. Paul Walker dead. Paul Walker dying in a car crash. On the deaths of Fast and Furious star Paul Walker. November 30th, 2013 marked a day that would send shockwaves throughout Hollywood and the world. Eerily similar to what his film career was based on, Paul Walker met his demise in a car accident in Santa Clarita, California at the very young age of 40. Join us as we take a look at Paul Walker's legacy, his death, and how he may have predicted his own passing. Hey, thought you could leave without saying goodbye. On November 28th, 2013, Paul Walker took to Twitter to extend Thanksgiving wishes to his followers. The renowned actor, known for his role in the Fast and Furious series, had numerous reasons to feel thankful that year. The sixth installment of the beloved franchise had shattered box office records, and he was venturing into film production himself. But little did he and the rest of the world know what would happen two days later. Recognized for his philanthropic activities, Walker devoted that day to a toy drive event organized by his disaster relief charity, Reach Out Worldwide, established in the aftermath of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. In high spirits, Walker left the event shortly before 3.30 p.m., much like his on-screen persona Brian O'Connor in the Fast and Furious films. Paul Walker held a passion for high-speed automobiles, and interestingly, the charity event that day was hosted at a high-performance car shop owned by Walker and his companion Roger Rodas in Santa Clarita, California, and the event was conceived to aid the survivors of Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. However, Paul Walker may have predicted his own death with a quote he stated a few years before his death, and looking back at it now sends chills down my spine. Born on September 12, 1973, in Glendale, California, Paul William Walker IV enjoyed a privileged upbringing. His mother, Cheryl Crabtree Walker, had a stint as a model before marrying former amateur boxer Paul William Walker III and raising five children, with Paul being the eldest. His journey into the entertainment industry commenced early, with his first commercial for Pampers landing at the tender age of two. Throughout his middle and high school years, Walker tirelessly auditioned for various roles, managing to secure minor parts in TV shows like Highway to Heaven and Charles in Charge. He graduated from Village Christian School in Sun Valley, California in 1991, though his film career didn't truly take off until the latter part of the decade. Directors eagerly cast him in Hollywood productions like Pleasantville in 1998 and Varsity Blues and She's All That in 1999, but it wasn't until 2001 that Walker made a significant impact as an undercover cop in The Fast and the Furious. Adapted from Kenneth Lee's 1998 Vibe magazine article, Racer X, the film delves into the world of illegal drag racing and the criminal underbelly associated with it. Walker starred alongside action film luminary Vin Diesel, and their characters quickly became iconic and this on-screen chemistry translated into a genuine and enduring off-screen friendship. Initially viewed as a gamble, the film laid the foundation for what would eventually become a record-breaking multi-billion dollar franchise as Walker reveled in the realization of his dreams. In addition to his screen triumphs, he welcomed a daughter named Meadow Rain Walker with his girlfriend Rebecca McBrain and devoted his free time to racing, surfing, and philanthropic work. However, the era of bliss would eventually come to an end. On that faithful day, Paul Walker initially planned to spend the day with his family. He was engaged in discussions about buying a Christmas tree with his mother, Cheryl, and his then 15-year-old daughter, Meadow, when he suddenly recalled an event organized by his charity. Cheryl Walker later recalled, We were having this good conversation, and he'd forgotten about an event he had. He got a text and said, Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be somewhere. In a 2005 Porsche Carrera GT, with Rodas at the wheel and Walker in the passenger seat, the pair departed the event. This particular car was notorious for its challenging handling, and just a short distance from the shop, Rodas lost control. The Porsche was traveling at approximately 100 miles per hour when it collided with a curb, a tree, a light post, and then another tree erupting into flames. Witnesses at the charity event rushed to the scene, including Rodas's young son 
and according to Paul Walker's friend, Antonio Holmes, it was a scene of unimaginable horror, one that would go down in Hollywood history as one of the most harrowing crashes. Holmes recalled, explaining how the car was consumed by fire and that there was nothing they could do as both Paul and Roger were trapped. Tragically, both Roger Rodas and Paul Walker perished in the crash, and as Walker's friends looked on in helplessness, word of the accident spread rapidly, and within hours the passing of Paul Walker had sent shockwaves through his fans worldwide. Many made valiant efforts to help, with shop employees attempting to reach into the car to extract the victims. However, due to the raging flames, they were forced to stand back, witnessing the tragic event. In the end, Walker was so severely burned that he had to be identified through his dental records. An investigation by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department into the incident determined that excessive speed was a significant factor, and initially, the department estimated that the Porsche was traveling between 80 and 93 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Later, the coroner's report confirmed that the car was going at about 100 miles per hour. The report detailed, For an unknown reason, the driver lost control of the vehicle, and the vehicle partially spun around and began to travel in a southeasterly direction. The vehicle then struck a sidewalk, and the driver's side struck a tree and then a light post. The force of these collisions caused the vehicle to spin 180 degrees, and it continued to travel in an easterly direction. The passenger side of the vehicle then struck a tree, and it then burst into flames. As for the cause of Paul Walker's death, the report indicated traumatic and thermal injuries, while Rodas succumbed to traumatic injuries, and no traces of drugs or alcohol were found in either man. But what is even more morbid is that Paul Walker had a famous quote attributed to him saying, If one day the speed kills me, don't cry because I was smiling. This quote, in a way, predicted Paul's demise and only further infused grief into the hearts of the fans. In 2015, Walker's daughter Meadow filed a wrongful death suit, placing blame on Porsche's design flaws for the accident. Ultimately, a comprehensive analysis revealed that no pre-existing conditions would have caused this collision, attributing the tragedy to worn-out tires and excessive speeds. Both airbags had deployed as intended, with the autopsy stating Rodas had rapidly died of severe blunt head, neck, and chest trauma. The investigation also unveiled further details about Paul Walker's injuries, including fractures in the left jawbone, collarbone, pelvis, ribs, and spine. Additionally, scant soot was discovered in his trachea. Porsche argued that the car had been abused and altered by unforeseeable modifications. Ultimately, Walker's daughter settled the lawsuit two years later, with the terms remaining confidential. Meanwhile, the crash site became a pilgrimage for grieving fans to pay tribute to the late actor. And since Paul Walker's death occurred during the filming of Furious 7, Universal Pictures announced a production hiatus until consulting with his family. After Walker was cremated and laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park, his brother Cody assisted the Furious 7 crew in completing filming. Not only did he eerily resemble Walker, but he also felt an indebtedness to him. There are some days when one of his movies comes on, and it feels weird and sad that he isn't around anymore. Paul Walker's legacy will stay etched on forever in the film industry as a charismatic actor who didn't wish bad to anyone, and an actor who made a franchise iconic and to whom many kids growing up, myself included, look up. Walker created a fine legacy of entertainment, but also a lasting impact with his foundation Reach Out Worldwide, and while he isn't around anymore, the work he started carries on in his name. He died young, but his impact will grow old. Thank you, Paul, for leaving a mark on the world that will never be forgotten. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure to like and subscribe.